wish you weren't going. So do I. But your Aunt Eleanor's sick, honey. She needs me. I know, but... I'll be back as soon as I can. I know. It's just that I'm worried about Dad. He's been acting so weird lately. He's under a lot of pressure, Margaret. But he never has time for me anymore. He's even stopped calling me princess. I thought you hated that. I do. But it just seems like he's changed. I bought a card for Aunt Eleanor. That's very thoughtful of you, sweetheart. Come here. Dad's always down in the basement, ever since he lost his job. What does he do down there anyway? He's a botanist. He studies plants. I know that, but all the time? He wants to prove to the university that they made a mistake when they let him go. You know, it's never really fun to be fired. I know all that. I just think something's wrong. Something else. Like what? I don't know. We'll give him a chance, Margaret. It's a tough time for him. Everything's going to be fine. I'm counting on you two to take good care of your father. Now go get your dad. I don't want to be late for my plane. I love you. I love you too. Say hi to Aunt Eleanor for me. I will. Bye, Mom. Bye-bye, sweetheart. And Mom, don't worry, I'll take good care of Dad. <laughs> oh, Margaret, I left Aunt Eleanor's number next to the phone in the kitchen. Okay, bye, Mom. Bye. Mom. Dad? <sighs> he never hears stuff when he's working. Dad? but Mom said to get you because she didn't want to be late. Look, kids, I'm sorry I raised my voice. I just don't want you down in the basement. Okay, now, come on, walk me outside, okay? Okay, now, kids, don't forget what I said about the basement. Why is he so freaked about the basement? Because he doesn't want us messing with his work. Sounds like it's coming from the basement. Sounds like, like an animal. Like it's hurt or something. We have to go down there. But Dad said that. I know what Dad said, but what happens if there is an animal and it's like a stray cat or something and it's suffering? We have to go down here. We? We'll just take a little peek. Make sure nothing's wrong. It's so hot in here. How can that stand it? Shh. Do you hear it? I'm not sure. Whoa. It's like a jungle. I can hardly breathe. Listen, it sounds like the plants are breathing. Dad's doing the rainforest. I'm studying it in school. Casey, let's get out of
What are you doing? That plant just grabbed me. Come on, plants don't grab people. What happened to your finger? I pricked it on one of the thorns. Yes. You in the basement? We heard some noises. Like someone was crying. Did you go into the basement? We were scared. The noises were, were strange and... No. Did you go into the basement? Yes. We didn't touch anything. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. Kids okay? Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Come. Okay, have a seat. <clears throat> now, if I explain to you what I'm doing in the basement, will do you feel better? I would. Okay, now, I'm gonna try to explain this to you as simply as possible. Botanists often try to take good qualities from some plants and put them into another. And that's what you're doing? No, 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 no. I'm doing something a little bit more unusual. I can't tell you what it is right now. Okay? Okay. Maybe you could tell us later. Yeah, well, maybe. Hey, um... Mom rented us movies. I could make some popcorn and we could stay up late and watch them all. Uh, no, 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 I have a lot of work to do. Uh, maybe some other time. Something's not right. We shouldn't have gone down there. Yum. Don't you dare. That's for Dad. There's some more in the pan. Dad, breakfast is ready. Dad, breakfast. You want to go outside and play catch? 
You know how Dad is when he's working? Yeah, weird. He's not weird. It's just that his work is more important than breakfast, that's all. He'll eat it when he's ready. See, I told you. Well, I'm going outside to play. some breakfast. I'm not hungry. Mom, I saw him. He was eating it. I'm sure it has something to do with his work. But the way he looked. He always gets wrapped up in his experiments. Don't worry. How's Casey? He's OK. He's out in the yard playing. Mom, when are you coming home? Aunt Eleanor's just recovering from her surgery. She still needs me. Mom, I can't explain it. But I've just got this really bad feeling about Dad. Hi, honey. Everything OK? Oh, that's a shame. Margaret? Yes. You're right, I should spend more time with her. Absolutely, you're right. We miss you. I will. Bye. I hope Aunt Eleanor starts feeling better. I'm scared, Casey. I saw something last night. 
Dad cut his arm, and this green stuff was oozing out of it. Mm, you're nuts. And he was talking to himself, and he had leaves growing out of his head. <sighs> cut it out. I'm not kidding, Casey. You want to know what I think? No, what? I think Dad's a mad scientist. Margaret, Casey, come here, kids. Hey, have a seat. It's almost ready. Coming right up, two of Dad's specials. Uh, hey, Dad, what's with the cat? I thought you hated baseball. So I guess you kids think that your old dad's acting pretty darn weird, huh? There's something wrong, Margaret. Something bothering you? Come on, talk to me. I saw you last night. In the bathroom. Spying on me? No. I mean that... No. You're just... concerned about me. Right? Dad, why are leaves growing out of your head? Well, that's... just a side effect. It's only temporary. It'll go away soon and my hair will grow back. That's why I'm wearing this cap. Why was there green stuff coming out of your cut? Well, uh, that wasn't coming out of my cut. That was fluid that comes from the leaves. Now, I'm working on something and it's very, very unusual. I'm trying to build a plant that is part animal. You mean you're taking animal cells and putting them in a plant? I can't say anymore. How about some breakfast? Eat. Um, what is it? It's my special recipe. Go ahead. Dig in. Doesn't smell so good. It'll taste just fine. What's the matter with you two? Pick up your spoons and eat it. get back, I expect those bowls to be empty. Dr. Merritt, what are you doing here? Watch for Dad. Well, as I said a few weeks ago, I've come by and check on how your work's coming, and I was able to... Dad, hurry! Really ready to go. Oh, I'll just take a quick look. You know, I've always supported your work. It wasn't my idea to let you go. The board forced me. But I'm not giving up yet. So, now let's see what kind of progress you've made. Oh, hi guys. How are you? Have you finished your breakfast? Yeah, it was pretty good. Look, I'll, I'll just be down there, okay? Uh, um, I want you kids to go outside and play. I don't believe anything Dad says anymore. At least Dad told us about his experiments. Yeah, but what about that gross junk he tried to make us eat? Good one. Dr. Merrick, if you would have backed me when I brought in my numbers. I tried. They were good numbers. They were very, very good numbers. What number? University never got me. Casey! Me, I was always trying to make a case. Dr. Brewer, please. All by myself. 